Hey guys, welcome to day 176 of my carnivore journey. I hope you guys are having a good journey as well. If not, I want to know about it. Um, guys, again, I hope everything's going good. Um, so today I want to just give you my daily journal update, which is um, for lunch. I had two hot dogs. I know it's kind of a common thing. You guys are starting to hear that. I am going to be doing some hard boiled eggs. I went to make a batch the other day. I found out that my Instapot is not coming up. It's coming up to pressure, but it's not coming up to uh, temperature fully. So it's it's only getting to a certain point to where it'll start creating some steam. It'll seal, but it's not like I can sit there and put eggs in there for 20 minutes and the yolks will still be runny. Okay. So I just can't. Um, so unfortunately I can't do them in the Instapot and right now I don't have my, my, my sauce pot in my four quart or even three quart pot. I have no tall, everything I have is like frying pans right now. So, um, so anyways, I'm going to be doing some hard boiled eggs real soon. I even have a new egg Tupperware container, you know? Uh, so lately, like I said, it's been hot dogs um but i did do the two hot dogs and then and i know you guys all the nitrates anyways it's still better than other crap i ate a half a bag of pork rinds and a slim jim um i probably shouldn't have ate those not because of a slim jim <laughs> and the junk that's probably in the slim jim but I, I I don't think I was hungry. Like, I think I was bored. And I don't think I listened to myself on that. So I'll call myself out if I make those type of mistakes. Don't Because I'm not going to sit up here and pretend like I'm perfect. I'll tell you guys when I make mistakes. And I think that was a mistake. Um, so that's why I actually stopped and I only ate the half of pork rinds because I ate the Slim Jim pretty much first. And then I kind of got halfway through the pork rinds and I'm like, eh, you know, I really didn't need to be eating these. Let me just stop while I'm ahead. And I may not even have been perfectly at the half point. I may have been a slightly less than half. Um, Then for dinner though, I picked up from the store, I picked up five sirloins, five top sirloins. Now, I know top sirloin is not the fattest of steaks, but these were decently cut. You know, these, these weren't, um, these do have some fat, but the, they were on sale. So I picked up like five of them, uh, and they were all over a pound each. So I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. Um, and I had a sirloin for tonight. I'm going to have chuck roast. I've got two more chuck roast that's thawing out. Uh, one thawed out, one thawing out. So I'll have um, chuck rolls probably for the next two nights. But I had sirloin, you know. So I'm super happy. It came out delicious. I put um, a few, by about two tablespoons of butter and, of course, salt. That's all I did. So I've been trying to minimize any other spices right now just to see. And, yes, the meat is tasting amazing. So... If anybody watched that video from Max German talking about spices can start making you can can start to lead to where you can start getting burnt out on meat. Well, really, for this past week, I've been just doing salt. And I got to say, yes, I've been craving my meat more and more. Um, it's it's not creating those toxicities with the other spices. So anyways. So it's not that I'm never going to have garlic powder or anything right now. It's just that uh, I've just been kind of experimenting with that lately because I've been having nothing but steaks. So I've got between the two chunk steaks and four more sirloins. Again, I got six more days of steaks and they've all been fairly affordable. So some of you that's been kind of worried and like I said, think about a standard American diet, right? I mean, even if you had some kind of lunch, some kind of um, dinner, a lot of times you end up spending a pretty good amount uh, between the two. Now, you can eat cheap. 
on the standard American diet. You can. Like, you can go and you could buy, what, five or six, like a pack, a five pack of Kraft Mac and Cheese for probably five bucks, about a dollar a box. Like, if you buy it in the bulk, if you buy them individually, now they're a little over a dollar. I don't know. Anyways, I haven't bought Kraft Mac and Cheese in, in a bit, but I still see it in the stores. And I was thinking about this when I saw it in the store the other day. And it's like, you could buy like five boxes of, of Kraft Mac and Cheese. And, and I know that there's people out there that that's their dinner. Like they can make one whole box for themselves. A uh, splash of milk, a little bit of butter or half a stick of butter. And, you know, you figure, hey, I mean, for a box of butter, uh, five packs of macaroni and maybe a gallon of milk just to kind of splash in like to, to make the craft mac and cheese for five days in a row, you're probably breaking that out to like a couple bucks a meal, right? A couple bucks uh, for a, a large, big old helping of mac and cheese for your dinner. And people will eat that for their dinner. But of course you're going to be hungry and you're probably going to have some kind of lunch and Again, things add up, but you can probably eat cheaper on a sad diet to a point. But you also have to keep in mind a few other factors. Like one, you can't keep eating like that without consequences, without health consequences. Those health consequences come with bills, medical bills. Like if you start factoring in, I lost an organ. Okay. I lost a gallbladder because of bad eating. Um, any kind of medical bills, uh, buying, spending extra money on larger size t-shirts because yes, there's like a fat guy tax. Just like there seems to be a pink tax. Well, guess what? There's a fat guy tax. And and all of us fat people know when you go to buy the extra, the like, like 3XL, 4XL, 5XL, all that stuff, it costs usually more money than the, the, the 2XL or the one, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, um, so like, like I said, all of these factors, when you start really taking in all those factors and then the amount of things, and let's be real, when you're on the standard American diet and you have a weight problem, you're probably spending more money than you want to admit, especially when you start factoring in those fast food meals or some of those desserts, things like that. And they may all seem cheap. Everything may seem cheap, but when you, how many calories you consume and all that stuff through the day. When you look at all the factors, it really is going to cost you a good amount of money and maybe even your life, not to be extreme. But what I'm saying is with the carnivore, if you if you're really eliminating all that, you can eat fairly cheap for an entire day. You can still stick to almost 10 bucks a day, you know, with a steak factor in maybe some butter expense and some salt expense. OK, if you really wanted to go true lion diet. Uh, but even dirty carnivores, not super expensive when you spread things out and, again, stuff like that. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked, all right? I'm uh, getting a little, getting a little long-winded. I'm, I'm sorry. But I, I had the steak. I got some more steak. So um, feel pretty good. We got my day 180 is coming up on Friday, but I have an interview scheduled. <laughs> and um, on Friday... So I'm not going to reveal my stats until the next day. So for on day 181, we'll do like a live special. Okay. And I'll do a separate day 181 video just for my day 181 stuff. But we're going to do, um, I'll do probably a regular update for day 180. Of course, I'm going to do the interview. Um, and then we'll do, and then, but like I said, we'll actually do a live special while I'll, I'll do like I did before, and I'll release the results. Um, I'll record my weigh-in. I'm going to use the same scale. I may switch scales um, soon because my roommate has a new scale, or I may just keep the scale because now that I've kind of converted over to this new scale, like my scale, I don't know. I'm trying to keep – because I haven't touched the scale like any of the adjustments on it. I have it set to exact, it's still sitting exactly where it did before, like 30 days ago. So we'll see 
what the scale tells me compared to last time, that should at least give me a good indication of what I lost and where I'm at. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've stalled in a way because I feel like I've kind of had some more dairy and stuff lately. And I, I don't know. I really can't say. And like, I've been eating that carnivore ice cream sometimes and that's, Heavy cream, that's nothing but heavy cream. I haven't been having a huge amount, just a few bites. Maybe three or four or five spoonfuls or something here and there. And I really haven't been reporting it, I guess, on my daily vlog these last couple of days because I kind of forget about it because I don't eat a lot of it. But it's more dairy, you know. Now, I haven't had any tonight. Tonight was just two hot dogs and a steak. So, and, and I had a regular poop today. So... When I, um, I, I think that's it. I think that's all I needed to share with you guys today. And then, like I said, I want to talk a little bit about the budget thing. So, but anyways, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Day 177 tomorrow, guys. All right, bye.